Good day everybody. It's, uh, I don't know what time it is, about half past nine on Friday the uh, 16th of February. It's been a long day working again, but now I've got nine days off. Nine days holiday, leave, vacation, whatever you want to call it. So I thought I would just put a little video together. Today was a good day um, because something arrived in the mail that I've been meaning to get for a little while. I've got 600 LPs in the garage that I've collected over the last 40 something years, I suppose. And uh, I play them occasionally. I've got a, a turntable. And I've also got a stack of CDs. Not many people use CDs now. Everybody's using USBs, memory sticks, um, SD cards, download your music, stream your music, whatever you do. But I like something physical. So I've still got a lot of CDs um, uh, on top of all the albums that I've got. And of course, yeah, I download my music and um, like everybody else to my phone, etc. And I did have a nice uh, Pioneer stereo system, you know, the double tape, tape decks. Um, had a 26 stacker CD player, uh, radio, etc, etc. And then I had that uh, for quite a few years and then the other day, uh, maybe Two years ago, it, it decided to break down and, and give up the ghost. So while I've got my little um, amplifier here, which I use for um, the radio and also for playing my, streaming my music via Bluetooth, um, and I can also plug my turntable into it, I don't have a CD player. to get one for ages because there's a fair amount of good music on my CDs. So I looked on eBay and I came across one for 60 bucks. This little machine here, as you can see on the manual. And uh, it's it arrived today. It's got, uh, it plays SD cards. It plays music on USBs. It's Bluetooth co compatible so you can stream music from your phone or your iPad or whatever to this device. Uh, you can connect it via a cord to your amplifier for greater sound as well. And of course it's got the CD player in. It comes with a remote control. Uh, and the sound is absolutely phenomenal. For a little thing that costs 60 bucks, I mean I remember back in the now, 24 years ago, you'd go out and buy a CD player or a Walkman, as they, as they the Sony ones were called, uh, and they'd cost you $100 plus. And they weren't, you know, they didn't have all these little add-ons and, and fixtures and bits and bobs on them. So for 60 bucks to get one with all this compatibility with all my other stuff and to be able to play my music. And the great thing is this uh, CD player is just down here attached to this uh, dresser. And I work over there in, in this corner where my desk is set up. And, and while I'm working, when I take a, take a call or make a call, I can just use the remote control to turn the music off or down, change my music, flick, you know, turn the radio on, whatever, just with this and just this little machine. So wonderful technology, but it's so great um, to be able to play and access all my uh, music on uh, CD again. The technology is great these days and it's you know it's so cheap it's so cheap it's one of these it's made in China um, but it's got a full manual in uh, six lang languages clear concise what a great buy it's, it's not a cheap plasticky mach feeling machine either it's you know it's got a bit of weight to it it's been well designed and well well built so excellent so that was uh, part of my day today um, Mrs. is just having a shower now, and uh, a bit of an overcast day, so I'll probably venture into the bush somewhere tomorrow, but the Mrs. is not too keen because there's a, uh, a high density or high population of uh, 
leeches around out there at the moment and she does not like getting them on her. When she gets a leech on her, I think the whole of Sydney hears it. She goes off like a rocket. So that's interesting. And of course, then we've got plenty of days, you know, getting around, going out, whatever. And then of course, next Friday, uh, we leave uh, and drive, I think it's about three and a half hour drive up to Mudgee. And the sole intents and purposes of that, to, so the, intent, the purpose of that trip is to get some of the Mudgee Mud beer, which I love, and it's a little bit costly to import it all the way down here to Sydney. So I thought I'd drive up there for a trip. We'd stay the night in a, in a, uh, a motel, which I've already booked. Uh, get some of this lovely beer and come home and uh, have the weekend and then go back to work. But I've got another, I think another 10, 11 days off next month. So it's nice to have some leave up your sleeve, as a famous poet once said. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go. But I'm looking forward to going to bed, getting some sleep. Because I think, like a lot of people in Sydney, I was woken up at four o'clock this morning, having to rush around to make sure the windows were closed because it was absolutely pissing down with rain. Uh, around about four o'clock, just before four, um, and I didn't get much sleep. So one of those uh, nights, one of those days, but a good day, a good day. Everything's coming together nicely, and when you've got a nice bent spoke beer. Um, you can't go too wrong. <coughs> so lovely people, I shall leave it you to it. Have a good evening, have a great weekend, wherever you may be. And uh, hopefully we'll have some good news and some interesting things to tell you on my next video adventure.